Hello, here is Moon and here is another challenge log. This one is made of scrap by Deadlocks and I have opened it once or twice off camera. So let's have a look at it and see if I can open it now. There are seemingly no markings. I will try to show the key as little as possible at the end I might open it. Um, the key doesn't seem to have a marking either, just the tags. So key works nicely in one direction and the other one not quite that good. But well, it works that way. Then I guess the other way will be the way we we're picking it. So let's get it into the wise. And hopefully pick it. Let's see. And let me get one more pick, maybe. A bit more shallow one to start with. There's something binding in the middle. Let's get it out of the way. Click. Something binding at the end. Click and rotation. And another click. And third click on the same pin. I would say it works three and five. Now four seems to be binding. Counter rotation on it. Deep fall set. Something in the front, one or two. No, it doesn't want to. Let's see. Mm, so what is left? There must be some something spoolish. Which one is it? At this point I will probably switch to a deeper hook to be able to heal the pins better. tension just looking for counter rotation the clicks you're hearing now it's nothing it just big slipping off the pins Set something. No, oh no, the something in the back was still not set, I guess. But it doesn't want to move. Now I get counter rotation. And it's open. Didn't really feel it setting, but well, it apparently did. So three hundred sixty degrees. Now let me try picking it the other way. Again, number three, click. 
pull set, something in the back. The last one, the one that was giving me trouble clockwise. Beeper full set. Very deep full set. I think the first one is the relief. Let's find that binder. And look at this full set. It's like quite deep. I'm wondering what's inside. I haven't looked inside yet. And open. Let's cut it and have a look what was catching so nicely. Zero lift as expected. Two, three is high, and five. Did it five or six pinner? I'm not even sure. Five pinner. So three and five are high lifts. Two and four, not so much, and one is zero lift. Let's get the shim inside. It's always a good idea on a challenge lock. wants to get in at all. Yeah, it does. All right. Four. Yeah, what's... The core was milled making the shear line really deep, the racerations in five, four, and three. One is zero lift as expected, and three doesn't have anything. It was binding so hard that there was really no point in trying to lift it. Or, well, not binding, but feeling set. There is a attempt to make a overset trap and with this shaft, but I don't know. It didn't feel like it has to be moved at all. So another look at the core. Nice sharp serrations in two, four, and five. And what do we have here? Standard in one. And the spring. Nice pull into a sand watch or hourglass, I think is the name. Same spring, number three is standard. And different spring, four is 
nice serrated, but I would bet it's from a sparrow's kit. It doesn't look like it's handmade. And yet another spring, and the last one. That's fun. Kind of, again, hourglass, some serrations at the bottom, and yeah, that was the one that was giving the default set, I guess. Last spring, and we're done with this one. Made of scrap by Deadlocks. Close look at the pins. And thank you for watching. Bye.